This is a live look at the snowy conditions from our WZZM 13 weather chaser. You can see that snow continues to fall on local roadways, making them slippery and making it slow going tonight. Well, county road commissions clear the roads of snow and ice by using salt. But why and how is salt so effective? Earlier today, Chemical Kim stopped by to explain. You might have seen Chemical Kim on WZZM 13's Take 5 and Company. She's a science professor at Kalamazoo Community College and also has videos on YouTube with cool experiments you can do with your kids. And she joins me now to explain how salt melts ice and how there are different types of salt because all snow melt is not the same. That's right. That's right. What we have are two salts that are very common for snow melt. Well, we, and right in front of you is the calcium chloride, and that's the salt you're going to work okay. with. Okay. And I have the sodium chloride. Now, this is red Road salt. This uh -huh. is what our crews use. This is common. What most homeowners will buy in the right. store buy to get a, bag of it. a really quick melt mm -hmm. on their on the road. On the so yeah. What we're going to do is, uh, and we're going to see this um, behavior of these salts in water and in snow, okay. and see what what are the differences, what are the benefits, what are not, you know, and so forth. So you are going to do your calcium chloride okay. in that water, and okay. we're going to add a little bit of red on. coloring so okay. we can distinguish calcium chloride right there. And then I'm going to do some blue, so this will be sodium chloride. The chemical formula for calcium chloride is CaCl2. Okay. And then um, sodium chloride is NaCl. Okay, so that's important in terms of the chemistry behind sure. this. Okay, so here we go. Because your salt is actually putting more ions, it's putting a calcium and two chlorine ions into solution. Mine's only putting one sodium and one chlorine ion in solution. Now what's interesting too is this, uh, is both these salts are going into solution, meaning they're dissolving in water. You're going to notice a temperature difference. Mine is warmer. My, my beaker yours, is warming it's up. It's getting here. warmer. Mm -hmm. Okay, now check and see, does mine get warmer? No, yours is still just as cold exactly, as it was. Exactly, because calcium chloride undergoes an exothermic re reaction, which means it releases heat and, of course, then melts the snow. And the differences in the temperatures of melting for sodium chloride is 15 degrees Fahrenheit, which is negative 9 degrees Celsius. Yeah. And for the um, calcium chloride, which is the one that you used, was the negative 25 degrees Fahrenheit, negative 32 degrees so Celsius. So the question is, why don't they just use this one on everything on the road? Exactly. Exactly. Wouldn't that be great if calcium chloride was an ideal salt in our environment? But it's not. It's uh -huh. corrosive and it's not as plentiful. It's more expensive, of course. And so what we do and what we also observe is that the road crews will then throw dirt on the on yeah. the, on the sort. Now, an important thing too with snow melt is that obviously we did this in water. Sure. Snow is a combination of both solid and liquid. Mm -hmm. Okay. If the snow gets too cold, you don't have that liquid and liquid is necessary in order for this to melt. Okay. So we're going to do another competition here. We're going to pour these two salts into our uh, mixtures. Now we are in the studio so the temperatures, you know, at room temperature where if you're outside, and just kind of mash that in there, if you are outside and it is so cold that liquid is not present in the snow, yeah. these salts will be pretty much useless. Okay. Yes, that makes sense. But what we're seeing with the benefit of this is right away, not just by agitating the snow, and that's another reason that a lot of times rocks and salts will be added into mm -hmm. the calcium chloride and the sodium chloride, is that also, though, we are getting those salts into solution. And once they get into the water solution, it lowers the melting point. Gotcha. And it's such unique science behind the so different salts. Yeah, and there's other salts that are used too, magnesium chloride. But the most important reason behind this being more effective is one, the exothermic reaction, and two, that it puts the calcium and the two chlorine ions in solution. Well, that what was fun, set, you know, chemistry lesson, an right? Excellent, excellent lesson. Thank you so much, Chemical yes, Kim. Yes, for sure. And you can find more science experiments from Chemical Kim on our website at wzzm13.com.